Despite the meticulous efforts of well-known writers and a top director, the final creation of Blazing Saddles was far from calculated. In a surprising turn of events, the movie's most cherished line was actually a mistake. The iconic moment that has resonated with audiences for decades was born out of a spontaneous error on set, showcasing the unpredictable nature of filmmaking. This unplanned twist not only added a unique charm to the scene, but also transformed a simple blunder into a timeless classic that continues to captivate viewers to this day. The accidental brilliance behind this famous line serves as a reminder that sometimes the best moments in cinema come from unexpected sources. Blazing Saddles may have been a product of hard work and talent, but its most beloved element emerged from a delightful mistake. Mel Brooks, the director of Blazing Saddles, was known for his innovative approach and willingness to allow his cast members to get creative with their lines, contributing to the film's status as one of the greatest comedic creations of all time. Mel Brooks's direction brought a unique style to the movie, blending satire and humor in a way that resonated with audiences. His ability to push boundaries while maintaining a sense of wit and charm is evident throughout the film. The movie is a testament to Brooks' talent for blending sharp, intelligent humor with a touch of irreverence. The success of Blazing Saddles can be attributed to Brooks's skillful direction, which allowed the cast to shine and created a timeless comedy classic that continues to entertain audiences to this day. Mel Brooks's influence on the film industry is profound, and his work on Blazing Saddles remains a shining example of his creative genius. In 1974, Blazing Saddles burst onto the scene, defying the norms of filmmaking. This classic movie allowed audiences of all backgrounds to connect through its groundbreaking humor. The film's unexpected success solidified its place in cinematic history, pushing boundaries and creating moments of pure joy for viewers. With a mix of satire and wit, Blazing Saddles remains a timeless favorite that continues to entertain and inspire laughter among those who watch it. Blazing Saddles was a groundbreaking film that touched on sensitive topics like racism and inclusivity pushing the boundaries of what was acceptable in film, and serving as a pioneer in the entertainment industry. This classic's bold approach contributed to its long-lasting success and cultural impact. It challenged societal norms and sparked important conversations about race and representation in the media. As one of the first films to address these issues in a comedic setting, it set a new standard for how films could tackle difficult subjects in an accessible way. The movie's unapologetic attitude and satire made it a memorable and influential piece of cinema that continues to be celebrated for its fearless exploration of important themes. Blazing Saddles, a 1974 film, was marked by numerous controversies, encompassing its use of racial slurs and unplanned scenes that subsequently became iconic. These elements solidified the movie's status as a controversial yet successful piece of cinema history. Mel Brooks took substantial risks during the production of the movie, facing potential backlash from both critics and audiences. Despite these challenges, Brooks steadfastly refused to make any cuts or edits to the film, a decision that ultimately paid off. The idea for Blazing Saddles originated from a 30-page outline by Andrew Bergman, which was later developed into a full script by Mel Brooks and a team of writers, including Richard Pryor. The casting of the movie was crucial to its success, especially for the roles of Sheriff Bart and the Waco Kid, Levon Little and Gene Wilder ultimately took on these roles after other actors, including John Wayne, declined. This classic film's origins and casting decisions played a significant role in shaping the comedy masterpiece that audiences have come to love. In the development of Blazing Saddles, the script was crafted by Brooks, Bergman, Steinberg, Uger, and Pryor. Pryor, in particular, pushed for the inclusion of racial slurs to underscore the film's satirical take on bigotry. One of the most iconic scenes in this classic involved the memorable line, these are the people of the land, the common clay of the new west. You know morons. Interestingly, this line was not scripted, but rather born out of an unscripted moment that made its way into the final cut of the film. The spontaneous nature of this pivotal scene added an extra layer of authenticity and humor to the movie, showcasing the creativity and quick wit of the cast and crew involved in bringing blazing saddles to life. The theme song for Blazing Saddles, performed by Frankie Lane, was intended to be serious. Lane was unaware that the film was a comedy, which added to the humor of the song's placement in the movie. This classic features an iconic theme song that beautifully contrasts with the comedic nature of the film, creating a delightful and unexpected experience for viewers. 
The juxtaposition between the serious tone of the song and the humorous antics on screen adds an extra layer of joy to the overall viewing experience of this classic. Mel Brooks was sued by actress Hedy Lamar for using a character name similar to hers, Hedley Lamar, in Blazing Saddles. The lawsuit was settled out of court, but it added to the film's notoriety. The character Mongo, played by former NFL star Alex Karras, became iconic, especially for the scene where he punches a horse, which was inspired by a story told to Brooks by comedian Sid Caesar. The incident with Hedy Lamar and the creation of the character Mongo contributed to the lasting impact of this classic. Warner Brothers executives were initially concerned about the film's content, including its racial slurs and controversial scenes, and suggested making significant cuts, which Brooks refused. Mel Brooks had final cut rights for Blazing Saddles, which allowed him to keep controversial scenes in the film, despite pushback from the studio, contributing to its unfiltered humor and success. Blazing Saddles, a classic film from 1974, faced backlash for its daring approach, but ultimately prevailed due to Brooks' the determination to preserve his artistic vision. The movie's unapologetic humor and fearless social commentary have solidified its place in cinema history as a timeless and bold creation that challenged norms of its time. Its ability to push boundaries while maintaining wit and charm showcases the importance of artistic freedom in creating impactful, and enduring works of entertainment. Mel Brooks's commitment to authenticity and creative control undoubtedly played a pivotal role in the enduring legacy of this beloved film. During the test screenings in major cities, audiences showed great love for the movie despite initial negative reactions from critics. This led to its wide release and subsequent commercial success. Blazing Saddles is now considered a film that could not be made in today's more sensitive cultural climate due to its provocative content yet it remains celebrated for its boldness and satire. After going through various title changes like Tex X and Black Bart, the classic 1974 film Blazing Saddles emerged with a title that Mel Brooks believed perfectly captured both the essence of the Western genre and the movie's underlying absurdity. This classic comedy masterpiece skillfully blended satire, humor, and social commentary, becoming a beloved film that continues to entertain audiences with its clever writing, memorable characters, and timeless humor. Set in the Wild West, the film navigates issues of racism and stereotypes with wit and wisdom, challenging conventions while delivering laughs and memorable moments that have solidified its place in cinematic history. Blazing Saddles stands as a testament to Mel Brooks' comedic genius and his ability to push boundaries in a way that challenges viewers to confront uncomfortable truths through the lens of humor. The film's enduring popularity and cultural impact serve as a reminder of the power that art, even in the form of a comedy, has to provoke thought and ignite conversations about important social issues. With its blend of satire, slapstick comedy, and sharp wit, Blazing Saddles remains a timeless classic that continues to entertain and enlighten audiences of all generations. Through its clever writing, iconic performances, and sharp social commentary, this classic film has cemented its status as a must-see for any lover of comedy or cinema. Its ability to tackle serious subjects with humor and irreverence has ensured its place in the pantheon of great American comedies. Blazing Saddles is a shining example of how a film can entertain, enlighten, and endure for decades to come. Blazing Saddles received three Oscar nominations and was later preserved in the National Film Registry, cementing its status as a significant piece of American cinema. The film returned almost 1,000% of its production cost and revenue, demonstrating its massive commercial success and enduring legacy, which continues to be discussed and analyzed 50 years after its release. Blazing Saddles, the 1974 movie, made a significant impact on popular culture. During its time, the film received both praise and criticism for its satirical take on racism. Despite the controversy, it became a cult classic and continues to be celebrated for its humor and groundbreaking approach. The film's legacy includes inspiring spin-offs, such as a short-lived TV series of the same name and the widespread availability of merchandise, showing its lasting influence on entertainment. Blazing Saddles remains a landmark in comedy history showcasing how storytelling can address social issues while entertaining audiences. Its impact is still felt today in comedic and cultural discussions. The casting of the 1974 movie Blazing Saddles involved meticulous auditions and chemistry tests to find the perfect actors for each role. Mel Brooks, the director, handpicked Gene Wilder for the role of Jim, 
the Waco kid, due to his improvisational skills and comedic timing. Cleavon Little, who played Sheriff Bart, impressed during auditions with his charisma and wit, earning him the lead role. Harvey Corman was chosen for Hedley Lamar after a standout chemistry test with Brooks. Madeline Kahn won the role of Lily Von Stupp after a brilliant audition that showcased her comedic talent. Slim Pickens landed the role of Taggart for his authentic Western persona. To cast Mongo, the hulking henchman, Brooks needed an imposing figure and found it in Alex Karras, a former NFL player. Lastly, Dom Deluxe's comedic abilities secured him the role of director Buddy Bazaar. Through a series of auditions, chemistry tests, and directorial vision, each key actor was carefully selected for their unique talents, ultimately bringing the iconic characters of Blazing Saddles to life. Mel Brooks, the director of the 1974 movie Blazing Saddles, approached the film with a unique and satirical vision. His creative influences included classic Western movies, as well as a desire to parody the genre and tackle issues of race and prejudice in a humorous way. Brooks blended slapstick comedy with social commentary, creating a distinctive style that pushed boundaries. Collaborating closely with the cast and crew, Brooks encouraged improvisation and a playful atmosphere on set. He valued spontaneity and allowed his actors to experiment with their performances, leading to some of the movie's most iconic moments. Brooks' directorial vision focused on delivering a sharp, witty satire that challenged traditional Western stereotypes and provided a fresh perspective on the genre. Throughout the filming process, Brooks maintained an open dialogue with his team, fostering a collaborative environment where ideas were freely exchanged. This collaborative spirit enhanced the creative energy behind the movie, resulting in a final product that resonated with audiences and critics alike. The production of the 1974 movie Blazing Saddles featured elaborate set designs that recreated the Wild West in a satirical manner. Various locations were used to film scenes, from dusty desert landscapes to bustling western towns. Logistical challenges arose from coordinating large casts and ensuring the authenticity of the era. Innovative techniques included the use of special effects to enhance action sequences and create dynamic visuals. The filmmakers also employed creative editing to enhance the comedic timing of the movie. The iconic film Blazing Saddles, released in 1974, features a memorable musical score and soundtrack that perfectly complement its comedic narrative and emotional tones. The composers and musicians involved in creating this musical masterpiece skillfully crafted music that enhanced the movie's storytelling. The composers Mel Brooks and John Morris infused the score with a playful, and vibrant energy that matched the film's humor and satire. The use of Western-themed motifs along with elements of parody added a layer of depth to the storytelling, creating a cohesive audio-visual experience for the audience. The soundtrack also featured classic Western tunes and songs that set the mood for the film's Wild West setting. Songs like I'm Tired performed by Madeline Kahn and Blazing Saddles performed by Frankie Lane became synonymous with the spirit of the movie providing memorable moments that resonated with viewers. Overall, the collaborative efforts of the composers and musicians elevated the film's comedic narrative and emotional depth, leaving a lasting impression on audiences for years to come. The most iconic scenes in Blazing Saddles include the railroad workers' dance number, the fight in the fake town of Rock Ridge, and the campfire scene with the infamous bean scene. The direction by Mel Brooks brought out the humor and satire in these moments, while the performances by Cleavon Little, Gene Wilder, and the rest of the cast added depth and comedic timing. Cinematography highlighted the Western setting and comedic elements immersing the audience in the film's world. These scenes had a lasting impact on audiences, blending satire, social commentary, and humor into a memorable viewing experience. Filmmakers and actors have praised these scenes for their wit, energy and boundary-pushing comedy that have solidified Blazing Saddles as a classic in American cinema. Blazing Saddles, released in 1974, had a significant cultural and social impact. The film resonated with audiences by using humor to address serious issues like racism and stereotypes. Through its satirical approach, Blazing Saddles influenced pop culture by pushing boundaries and challenging conventional norms in filmmaking. The movie sparked discussions on relevant social and cultural themes by highlighting the absurdity of discrimination and prejudice. Its unapologetic approach forced viewers to confront uncomfortable truths while delivering laughs. Overall, Blazing Saddles played a crucial role in shaping the way society views and discusses race relations 
all while entertaining audiences with its wit and humor. Blazing Saddles, the 1974 movie, received positive critical reception upon its release. Critics praised its clever satire, witty humor, and bold approach to addressing social issues. Audiences also loved the film, finding its comedic elements both entertaining and thought-provoking. The movie was nominated for three Academy Awards, including Best Supporting Actress for Madeline Kahn. While it didn't win any Oscars, it did receive other accolades such as the Writers Guild of America Award for Best Comedy written directly for the screen. These awards and nominations meant recognition for the talented individuals involved in the making of the film. They highlighted the exceptional writing, acting, and directing that went into creating a movie that continues to be celebrated for its humor and cultural impact. The critical acclaim and awards for Blazing Saddles solidified its place in cinematic history and ensured that the film's legacy would endure for years to come. During the making of the 1974 movie Blazing Saddles, there was a memorable moment involving the scene where Cleavon Little, who played Sheriff Bart, was hanging on the noose. When the platform he was standing on was released, instead of dropping down, it shot upwards. This unexpected mishap caused the cast and crew to burst into laughter, including Mel Brooks, the director. Another interesting fact is that Gene Wilder was not the first choice for the role of the Waco Kid. It was originally offered to Gig Young, but he had to drop out due to health issues. Wilder then stepped in, and his chemistry with Cleavon Little became a highlight of the film. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes offer a glimpse into the fun and unexpected moments that occurred during the filming of this classic comedy. Blazing Saddles has left a significant mark on film history. Its satirical take on Western movies and its bold approach to tackling racial issues set it apart. This 1974 movie pushed boundaries and challenged conventions, paving the way for future filmmakers to explore controversial topics with humor and wit. Blazing Saddles inspired a generation of comedians and filmmakers to think outside the box, using comedy as a tool for social commentary and critique. Its legacy lives on in the realm of satirical cinema, influencing countless works that followed in its footsteps. As you reflect on the 1974 movie Blazing Saddles, share your personal encounters and reflections. Engage with how this film shaped your views on cinema and the impact it had on you. Let's connect through your stories and memories linked to this classic film. Your participation, whether through likes, shares, or subscriptions, can spark more lively discussions and explorations of cinema. By sharing your experiences, you contribute to a rich tapestry of perspectives that enhance our cinematic journey together.